Welcome to another News for Jags podcast. I'm also going to see you alongside Justin Barney. Justin, uh, I think we're finally into game <laughs> prep. Uh, first preseason game set for Saturday. The team's starting to count down. I guess that would make today a Thursday instead of a Wednesday right. in a normal week for them. Day 12 of training camp. We're yep. coming off an off day. Lighter work today. No pad, no full pads on. No full contact. And that's what you expect to see in game week. Interesting thing Doug Peterson did say. We're going to see the starters a little bit on Saturday. A little. Very little bit. That's something I would not do. I would leave Trevor and the rest right. of those guys back here in Duval at Miller Electric Center working out. <laughs> and I'd like to see the other guys. There's battles between the second and third team guys. Well, but we're going to see those, those first teamers. Keep in mind, this is following a similar plan to what Doug Peterson did a year ago. Uh, take out the Hall of Fame game, yeah. since that was the additional right. game. Starters didn't play in that one. But when they, we got to the actual first preseason game, starters played about two or three series. Uh, saw some things, and then he pulled them out. That second game, they played the full right. first half, and then the third game, I don't believe they played yeah. at all. Uh, so the, I, if he follows that same pattern from a year ago, we may see uh, – make sure you tune in for the very beginning of the game if you're looking for Trevor. <laughs> you know, because and that, and that's going to be quick. <laughs> that third preseason game last year, I did, we saw a little bit of Devin Lloyd because he had not played – so Correct. far in camp, Correct. but Devin Lloyd missed everything barring, with hamstring. Yeah, Everyone else was a situation like a Devin Lloyd, yeah. where you're missing chunks of training camp and preseason games. We're not going to see any starters in preseason game three here with the Dolphins. So I think maybe these, a Dewan, or not a Dewan's move, but a Ben Barch. Maybe a Ben Barch. He, he right. could be coming off the pup list uh, around that time. So maybe if that works out. So something like that. We're going to see just from all set. We're going to see two or three series on Saturday night. We're going to see a, maybe a full half the following week, and then nothing from the starters week three. So yeah. get the, get those glimpses of those guys in weeks one and two of the preseason. And heading into that Cowboys game, how do you feel? We've seen 12 practices. We're going to see the final one tomorrow. How do you feel with what we've seen so far? I think maybe on the same page with a little bit of what we'd like to see more of, but what do you like? What have you seen so far? What do you like? I think the depth on this year's team is better than it was a year ago, which has been a problem for the Jaguars for a year, but it's, or for years, but it takes time to build that there. I think they're getting to where those final roster spots are extremely competitive. Yes. Um, so I, I think they're in a good situation there. My biggest concern is the offensive line situation, just because there's so many unknowns. I think Anton Harrison still has not played an NFL game. He has a shoulder injury that has limited him out here. He's had rookie highs and rookie lows, which is fine. Cam Robinson, remember, he suspended the first four games, so we know Walker Little, is if he's healthy, he's going to be that left tackle. What's going on at left guard? Yep. Ben Barch is on pup. Tyler Shatley had the AFib situation, so we really don't know what his timeline is to get back on the field. Right now they got Blake Hans uh, rolling out there at guard, which in reality, if everything's set, Blake might be your fourth guard, right. your fourth stringer. So, but he's going to be starting, and if this was the season starting right now, Blake would be starting more than likely. You got Luke Fortner, which you feel pretty comfortable with there. Um, right guard, you got Brandon Sheriff, and then at right tackle, again, we got Anton Harrison, but we got to really see what Ancon, Anton can do, and if that shoulder is yep. bothering him, if that's something that's going to get better. I think there's a lot of questions there. That's my biggest area of concern. But overall, I've been pretty pleased with the depth. I think there's a lot of competition, a lot of talent on this year's squad. I think there's going to be a lot of players that are going to hit the street that the Jaguars are going to say, I hope I can get them on my practice squad. And other teams are going to swoop in and say, ah, not that so fast. We're, they're going to sign them. Yeah, right? I, I think there's going to be a lot of players. So I'll switch things up a little bit. I know we've talked a lot about the offensive line. Concern a little bit there with with the Shatley situation and then Ben Barch not being fully healed from that knee injury last year. But I think, again, we've talked about this many times, pass rush, pass yeah. rush, pass rush. I'm not sold on Caleb on Chase on being that missing link. Dewan Smoot is not going to be ready to start the season. You know, Dewan was, was able and capable and healthy. I would feel a little bit better, but he's not going to be available for who knows how long coming back from that Achilles. So that's a little bit of a concern for me. Trayvon Walker, I think, is going to take a leap. Josh Allen, even if those sack numbers are not there, he's still disruptive. So I like those two guys, but who is that third guy? Who is the other guy that's going to come in there? Trayvon has been more of a Swiss Army knife, and I, I don't know. We're going to see Devin Lloyd emerge as a pass rusher. We've seen him rushing the passer a little bit more during camp so far and getting stonewalled by offensive linemen. So, I, you know, with the with the Houston signings and the Yannick Ngakwe signings, the free agent guys, that, that pile is, is linked. Jadavion Clowney's still out there. Not sure if he's got much left in tank. He's been a little bit underwhelming in places he's been. So to me, pass rush. Who is going to generate that pass rush? I mean, last year we could not even sack 
a gimpy Chad Henney against the Chiefs. I mean, he drove Pat 98. Mahomes. It drove 98 yards. A gimpy you know, Patrick Mahomes. I mean, Chad Henney was like, he's just old. He was a statue back there, and you could not get to him. So who yeah. is going to be that guy that's going to be able to get to the pass rusher? Does Devon Hamilton step up as a pass rusher? I don't know. So to me, pass rush right now is my concern. Well, when they're in the pass rush situations, what it looks like they're doing is they're putting Foley and Roy Robertson Harris on the inside, and they're trying to put Trayvon and Josh on the edges. What I think we're going to start seeing more of is I do think they're going to use Caleb on, but I think they're going to use Caleb on very simply. Use your speed, try and arc around the corner, and just just try and make sure the quarterback can't just keep dropping. Right. And they're going to bank on Trayvon's ability inside to use his sweet quickness to get in. Yeah, and that's um, and it, I, so it, that that is an unknown, but I think that's what they're banking on is that Trayvon has shown kind of that wiggle to be able to kind of use that quickness against guards to knife in there, and I think that's what they're banking on. And that's you, you know he's going right to be better. You know Trayvon is going to take that step in yeah. his growth. He was a pick number one overall to be a one sack year guy. He's going to take that step. Josh Allen, contract year, fifth year, he's on verge for a big, big payday. Yep. You've seen what some of these pass rushers get. So he is going to have a good season. But oh, well, I, yeah, I, we hope. We, I, I think he's <laughs> going to have a good season. So I, I'm just concerned. We've not seen that from Kayla Vaughn. Smoot being injured. Um, Yasir Adua, I don't think he's ready for prime time yet. Maybe eventually, but not yet so far. So I'm just concerned about when that pass rush was off last year. We saw quarterbacks be it a Chad Henney. I don't count Patrick Mahomes because he's otherworldly. But you saw quarterbacks able to pick Jacksonville apart. So I hope that pass rush develops maybe from a Caleb on Jason. Maybe he well, untaps that potential this year. I think the one thing as you start crunching numbers, so they had 35 sacks mm -hmm. last year. They had a bunch of pressures that I don't really count because pressure is like a stat that's hard to calculate. So let's say Josh gets you 10. And let's just say Trayvon takes a big jump and gets you 10. You're at 20 right there. You mm -hmm. got to come up with 15 more. You say Roy's a three sack guy pretty consistently. You can count him for three. Let's say if you give Devon and Foley two, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You start getting closer and closer to that number. I don't know that it's like that they need Caleb Vaughn to be this high sack generator. What I think they want is just him to use that speed rush to try and get around the corner. Similar to what like Josh has a little bit more free, right? right. Do what you got to do, try and get there. But Caleb Vaughn, I think they're just going to say, man, look, our speed rush on the outside and try and make him step up into Trayvon or step up into Roy and, and uh, just play play the role in the defense. So I, I'm calming down a little bit on the pass rush. I'm still, still concerned. <laughs> There's still some sacks that, that, that need to be accounted for. But I, I do I don't think that say, Caleb Vaughn's going to have big sack numbers, but I do think he has a role, and that's going to be as just a speed rusher on the outside. And don't They're not banking on him to get home, just banking on him to make sure that that guy can't keep yeah. pedaling out. Yeah, if he could be an Arden Key kind of – guy where you get those four sacks I mean that that's huge from Caleb on you've not got that previously um, and just be a disruptor there's no doubt Caleb on is fast he's fast he looked great he's fast he's fast and the problem is getting that to finishing plays getting hands on the quarterback that is something he's not been able to do but man if he can take that leap here in year four would be absolutely huge for the pass rush especially with Dewan Smoot still coming back I mean if Dewan was healthy as I said I would feel a lot better about this well, at some point, they'll get Dewan Smoot back. I mean, realistically, Caleb Munn's had the strange struggles of finishing plays that Josh yeah. Allen has had. Getting close, but just can't get him down. Uh, so I think that overall, the, as a group, they have something that they need to be working on, which is a very tough thing to fix because that, that last turn is a really hard thing to simulate outside the game situation. So we'll see if they can improve on it. It's definitely going to be a big part of the defense. They need to be able to get the ball out of quarterback's hands. Uh, we'll get a first look at that coming up on Saturday. Before we close, how about the last play of practice today and how that finished, how poetic, about a minute left, sideline, Josh Peterson. Yeah takes it to the house, and that's how we end today's that's how practice. Ended, yeah. how, how beautiful. Well, you, can, you can't top that. You, you can't, can't top, top that. A piece can't. in the end zone, you know what I mean? Uh, all right, so Jaguars have another practice tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be kind of a, a game prep practice similar to this one, so nothing too intense. Um, but keep in mind, FSU is also in town, so uh, we will have a, a little bit of splitting our coverage to make sure that we cover all our bases for our Florida State fans. Uh, but we'll have plenty more coverage for you over on NewsForJax.com. Thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll see you next time.